Windows 11 has default antivirus or virus protection system, but sometimes we need to disable it for different purposes. Like if we want to install some third party application for some reason, which we really need at the time, this antivirus or this virus protection system creates a barrier. So we cannot, uh, we cannot install those things. In this video, I'll show you how you can actually disable those type of antivirus or that antivirus from your Windows 11 computer. So let's see. So at first we need to click this start menu or you can click the search box anywhere and start typing settings. And you will see Windows system settings is there. Just click over there and Windows settings window will be open there shortly. Now on this Windows settings panel, you will see left side different menus are there. We have to directly go privacy and security settings. This option privacy and security and right side you will see privacy and security related issues are there. On the top you will find security group and down you will find windows permissions group. To disable those that antivirus we just need to go windows security this section. I am going to click here and it will be expanded and it will be inside privacy and security windows security this panel. Over there, there are a couple of menus are there. We have to choose the first one, virus and threat protection. We just need to click here and then it will be opened shortly. And this is the antivirus system of Windows, which is by default built in. And this is really very secure. So to, we are planning to disable it for temporary, right? So we need to scroll and we'll find a section is called virus and threat protection settings. And here there is a option of manage settings. So to disable it, we just need to click here and then it will bring this type of window. From here on the first we'll have, we will see real time protection and there is a button. This is like a radio button or switch button, whatever you can say. Some people say switch button, but uh, some people say radio button, but basically this is a switch button. We just need to make it disable, right? Right now it is one. That means this antivirus is enabled. To make it temporarily disable, we just need to click here and it will be like this. And it will bring this type of menu. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? We have to press yes because we are going to disable this antivirus for temporary. So I'm going to click yes and then it will be like this. And a red mark will be there, red line turn on real-time protection to use this feature but we are trying to disable it for temporary right so we don't need to enable it so this red line it means that's our windows uh, antivirus is disabled that means windows protection system is disabled now we can install our third-party application or software whatever we need and after that we can enable it or it will be enabled after restart sometimes like a couple of minutes later like 30 minutes probably it will enable and that's it we can now close this window we can also close it and that's it guys in this way we can temporarily disable the windows antivirus or windows defender or windows protection system thank you guys for watching the video